Hello Junkies and welcome back. Horror Junkies 509, Kyle the 13th, coming at you again, you guys. And I'm sorry that it's been so long since my last video, you guys, but, uh, you know, sometimes life, life happens. I don't know why I went redneck on there, but we're sticking with it. Uh, so, it's been about two weeks since my last video, so I'm definitely coming back at you tonight. Hopefully gonna be able to get another video up this weekend, so stay tuned for that. Uh, if you guys have been following my Instagram, uh, at Junkies 509 you'll see that I've been talking about reviewing this new movie that I just watched. Because I got a lot of movie watching done this last couple days. Because uh, uh, just doing, you know, health, uh, family, taking care of family and stuff. Uh, so I had a lot of time to sit around and watch movies. So I did it. I did just that. Uh, but I had this new movie that kind of hit me. Uh, it came out this year. I have not heard a thing about it or seen anyone talk about it. Um, and I watched it because I'm going through this snake binger. I've been watching tons of snake movies. Anything and everything I'll watch. Um, so this one I'm talking about is called, uh, it's from 2017. It came out September 20th, 2017. And I haven't heard a thing about it. And it's called Serpent. And damn, you guys, I'm really into snake movies. And I'm, because I'm actually very afraid of snakes. That is my, one of my biggest fears of all. Um, but I still love snakes. It's weird. I have this weird, like, I love them, but I'm afraid of them kind of thing. Like, you know, from a distance, I love them. But, you know, if they're up in my shit, I'm done. I'll, I'll be running away screaming. Uh, but to get into this movie, you guys, it is directed by Amanda Evans. From what I can tell, this is her motion picture debut. Because I think the only other thing she directed was something on TV. So that's kind of cool. And this is, uh, like, I'm going to be talking high, very highly about this movie because I really did dig, dig this one. Um, it only has two stars in it, uh, Tom Ainsley, which I do not recognize anything that he's been in, and then, uh, Sarah Dumont, hopefully I didn't butcher that, but she was in The Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse, which was awesome and horror-related in all sorts of different ways. Uh, but to go ahead and get right into the plot of this movie, you guys, it starts out, uh, this couple, uh, they're kind of getting together and having dinner, uh, the girl's kind of upset because he's getting ready to go away on a trip, and, uh, she, uh, you can tell she's, like, t texting on her phone a lot, you know, seeing a lot of, like, very, very promiscuous texts from another guy. So, you kind of get the gist that she's uh, cheating on him a little bit, but it looks like she's trying to turn turn away from him. So, uh, that goes with that. Um, so, this guy keeps texting her, and uh, so, he's get the her actual man is trying to go get ready to go on a trip. She decides that she wants to go, and he kind of gets a little upset. Because his friend was supposed to go, and there's only allowed two of them, like, two people can go, I guess. Um, so, all in all, she she ends up getting to go. And uh, so the guy, his friend, doesn't get to go. So, you know, the, just a couple is going to go on this trip. And they're going out to fo look for this uh, beetle. Uh, that this guy, I guess it's either ex going extinct or something like that. Or it's a very rare, or he's just discovering it. Something of that nature. I wasn't too into that whole part of it. Uh, but uh, funny thing is this guy has a tattoo of the beetle he's going to look for and it's so heavily CGI'd on his body like you sometimes when you see it it's on there but he's like moving around and it's just staying still so that was kind of something funny about this movie a little bit uh, but so c going on they're hiking up to where they're going to be looking for this beetle they make it to this watering hole and uh, you know they're taking a break the girl starts you know swimming and stuff like that and he's like alright well let's suit up and get ready to go and she's like no I'm done we're staying here so they set up the tent and they they pretty much uh, get ready for the night, and uh, eventually they're over while they're sleeping. This girl goes out and starts texting uh, this guy again, um, seeing what he's texting and stuff like that. And then she goes back in the tent. She doesn't seal it completely and slithers in a snake while they're sleeping. Uh, and that's kind of the biggest plot. Um, that's best of the plot. I don't want to tell you the whole movie. Uh, but basically the rest of the gist of the movie is them in this tent with this snake. And, uh, yeah, so that's all I'm going to say about for the plot. Uh, so my likes for this movie, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the snake. Uh, it is a black mamba, which is one of the most deadliest high and highliest venomous snakes in the world. Uh, if you guys have not seen, uh, the movie Venom, also another movie with a black mamba in it. I really like the black mamba in these horror movies. Uh, it's kind of nice to have these move, snake movies with uh, these little snakes instead of, like, you know, the big, giant, fake ones. But uh, it's nice to see these ones every now and then. Uh, but saying more about the snake, I mean, the snake looked really good. You did have some shots of a real snake in the tent with these people. and uh, But there was some CGI in there. I'm not going to say it's not CGI'd. I feel like it was fairly well done CGI. Um, so the snake looked good every time I saw it. 
Uh, it did a few things that were a little unrealistic of a snake. Like it was like looking at them, looking at the people, and it would just like open up its mouth and then close it. It's just being a fucking asshole, basically. Uh, so a little un unrealistic stuff like that. But it definitely um, built built fear and suspense. But uh, as far as the snake goes, I, I gotta say it looked really well. I felt like they did a really good job with it. Um, me being afraid of snakes, I was zero. I was zoned into this movie the entire time. I was like in the tent with these people. Uh, but they did, uh, they handled it a lot better than I would have. Uh, so the next thing I want to talk about, my likes, is the suspense, you guys. Uh, if you're going to watch this movie, you got to be kind of into it. you got to be in the tent with these people. Uh, because I was just zoned in. Like, I was just like, where the hell is the snake? What's it doing? Uh, don't fucking move. Like, I, like they're not moving. I'm sitting in, the, in my chair, not wanting to move. Like, the suspense had me fully. But this is one of those movies you got to be, like ready to watch and, like, be into it. You can't just, like, be on the outside. You gotta kind of be in there with the people. Um, so the sp suspense they had, they built it so well. I felt like, you know, the people that are gonna watch this movie are gonna feel it, unless you're absolutely not scared of snakes at all. I don't know if you'll feel it then. Um, other things I liked, like I did say, the unrealistic scenes with the snake, like, you know, opening his mouth and then closing it. You know, it was unrealistic, but I still enjoyed it. I mean, they definitely had to make this like, uh, as scary as possible, and, you know, every time it happened, it's like, uh, I, I didn't like that, so, I mean, it really, this movie really might just be for people that are afraid of snakes, uh, but I definitely feel like it could be for everybody, I really do, but you've got to, you got to be in it with them, you got to know that that snakes is one of the most deadly snakes in the world, and they definitely know, let you know about it, um, so let's go to my dislikes, I don't have much I dislike about this movie, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say just the ending, really. I mean, it's not a bad ending. I just feel like they got a little silly and it just drug on a little bit too long as far as just the ending part. But, I mean, overall, I feel like it doesn't take away from the movie at all. I, the experience you have when you're in the tent with the snake and the people, it's just, I feel like it still held true throughout the entire movie. And I still just loved it so much. Uh, so I highly, highly recommend this movie, you guys. For anybody out there that likes these snake movies, um... You know, it's not going to be for everybody. It's got like a four-star thing on M on IMDb. Uh, but, you know, I look past that completely because I really, really like this movie. Um, I got rewatch value question mark under here because definitely I don't know the rewatch value of this one. Uh, I've only watched it once. I definitely want to watch it again. And, uh, you know, I'll have more information on that. But I feel like it might not have much of a rewatch value, but that one time you watch it, it's going to be worth it, in my personal opinion. Uh, if anyone else out there has seen this movie, let me know in the comments what you thought about it, some of your thoughts. If you have a video that you've done on it, uh, link it in the description, and I'll tef definitely watch it. Uh, but my rating of this movie, you guys, out of 10, like always, I'm going to give this a solid... Uh, I'm going to give it an 8. I was going to give it a 7.5, but I just I want to give it an 8 because I don't really do the half marks. Uh, just, I like to do the full mark, but uh, I'm going to give it an 8 because, damn it, it kept my attention like that. I was zoned into it. I was, like, into it. Uh, me and my girlfriend, Angelina, watched this, and we both really enjoyed it. We're both kind of going through a snake fetish right now, watching a ton of snakes. So if you follow me on Instagram, you're going to be seeing tons of snake movies coming in and out. There's already a ton of them on there, and I've got more on the way. Um, so that's going to do it for my review, guys. I can't express this enough. I don't know where the hell this movie came from. I love it. I can't wait to watch it again. It came out 2017. Brand spanking new. If I were to do a top movies of 2017, this would probably be on there. Uh, definitely for me. It's definitely right up my alley. I don't know how you, the rest of you might feel about it, but damn it, I enjoyed the hell out of it. Uh, so that's going to do it for me, you guys. 2017's Serpent. Uh, came out in 2017, like I've said too, probably too many times already. Uh, but definitely highly recommend it. I give it an 8 out of 10. And that's going to do it for the old Horror Junkies 509, Kyle the 13th. Signing out just until next time, you guys. Uh, for now, you guys, I'm going to put the link to my Facebook page and my Instagram in the description just to make it a little bit easier for you guys. Uh, if you guys want to come check that me out on those avenues, you definitely can. Um, so, uh, like I said... That's going to do it for me. Signing out just until next time, you guys. And you already know it. I've been sentenced to life. I'm a horror lifer. And just, just wait, you guys. I got some real snake movies on the way.
Have a good night. You have a killer day. Yo, what's going on, fellow junkies, fellow horror fans, subscribers, the new and the old? I hope you guys really enjoyed what you saw here. If you guys want to leave me a like and a comment, let me know that you enjoyed it. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification button so you guys can come back and see me again. Horror Junkies 509, Kyle the 13th. That's right. I'm a whore lifer.